All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to change our entries here, right? Where we have, where we could type them in, uh, basically, you know, change our draws we want to. So, you know, as we, you know, we built this system uh, through the 30 day YouTube challenge, right? We're gonna change these from where that we can just change the draws, just like we just did, to an actual active X, right? So say for instance, right now the draw is 2.0, if I change it to 1.5, that's that's a keypad entry, right? That I'm doing on my computer. I want to have a keypad entry that is used as an active X. So we're going to show you how to do that on Factory Talk SE, and this is version 10. So this is Factory Talk SE version 10, and again, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So uh, we have the screen right here, right? So we're going to go ahead and build this out, right? So what we're going to do first is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go over to objects and you have to have the ActiveX already installed. Now, um, again, I have made a video on how to do the ActiveX install and how to register your ActiveX. So uh, when it comes down to it, uh, you can go back and reference that video if you want to. Uh, but I'm gonna show you to just draw this in here and you're gonna come in here and pick your numeric keypad. So we're gonna to go to M N N numeric keypad. This is a numeric keypad for version um, RS View 32. It's still compliant. It still works. It is still something that is used every day. So what I want to do is I want to get the I'm gonna come over here and get this out of here, right? And so I want to actually and, and this was uh, actually uh, grouped in here. So let's ungroup that. So I want to come in here and, and kind of size this properly. So I want to come in here, size it properly, get it in here. We'll get the first one done, right? We'll get the first one in here. Now we're going to get the tag from in here. So what all I'm really curious about is the tag. So I'm going to I'm going to Control A to copy the whole thing and Control C. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here, open this up, and I'm going to tags. I'm going to get, do Control V to paste that in there. Now, we're gonna set our minimum, maximum. Now I'm gonna set all this stuff, right? So, now in appearance, I have this as a decimal of two, um, and then I come over here. So now I have this as a uh, minimum of 0.5, or yeah, 0.5 and a, a maximum of 2.0. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and actually edit that. So now, I'll show you this right here. So you can put a title here. You can put Axis uh, One Draw Control. So we'll put that in there. Uh, units is Draw Ratio. That's just what we're going to put. And maximum, we're going to put. Uh, let's just put. For instance, we can. We'll, we'll allow it to go up to three on this one three for the draw. And the minimum is uh, going to be 0.5. Now, uh, actually not 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So um, there's a couple things you need to change here. So we can actually come in here and, and put our minimum in here too as well. And come in here and put it like just like this and come in here and put 3.0 for here. Or you can have these tag based as well. We're gonna keep this fairly simple. Um, but we also wanna come in here and make this bold right so we want to have it bold okay and then we want to come in here and change our behavior because instead of having a whole number we're going to have decimals so we want one decimal point at very at the very least right so we want 1.0 or 2.0 or 2.5 2.2 whatever the case may be instead of one decimal right we want actual two or we want we want to have one decimal in here so that gives us the ability to have that right so we have that done now. So we're gonna merely come in here. Now uh, we'll copy this and we'll paste this. And all I'm gonna do is come over here and well, we'll, we need to ungroup this like we did before, ungroup it. Okay, so then we're gonna get the tag from here. We're gonna get the tag from this right here and that's really all we really want. We're gonna get the same exact thing. So we're gonna control A, control C, come over here. We're gonna go do control A, 
backspace, control V, paste that in there. Okay, so now we have number two in there. Now we could have did this, I'll show you a different way too. We'll sh we come in here, we could have did tag substitution. Okay, so you see this is axis one. We come, in, come over here, we could have did this right here and did tag substitution right here, just like that. Now that's just as efficient, just as effective. The key to this is just like we just did. Build one first. If you have like several of them to build, build one first, right? Build one first and then come over here and build the rest of them. Now we're not going to worry about this besides ungrouping these. We know it's basically the axis. Um, we know it's the axis that's changing, the axis number. So we're going to come in here and change that as well. So let's go ahead and delete these other two. And normally you wouldn't do that, right? I'm going to copy this and paste. But I kind of, you know, as this, uh, and if you hadn't seen the, the whole buildup of this and the build out of this, then please visit, go back and visit the, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually line these up real quick. So I'm going to do control and then hit that one. And then I'm going to use my line tool. All right, so I'm gonna line these two up, make sure they're good. So Control C, Control V, I'm gonna populate that, get that back up here, put this on this very last one. And, but if you haven't seen the build up to this, please watch those videos. They're on this channel. All you gotta do is hit the, hit the search bar on this channel and hit 30 day YouTube and uh, YouTube servo or 30 day servo build and you'll see the whole thing from start to scratch, from the, the ladder logic to the controls to the servo to everything we've done so we're going to quickly do the tag substitution right here and tag substitute right here replace done and we're going to do this one more time tag substitution and do this for number four so this is servo four done and what we're going to do now is we're going to save this okay so we still have the old screen right here right Okay, so now that this is the beauty of SE, side edition, right? So if we're going to come in here and we're going to come in and now all we did was change pages and now we have our pop-up. So now we have, and it says it's draw ratio is the, as the, now the one thing we didn't change, and I will show you this, is we didn't change the name up here. See it says, so we need to come in here and edit that. So each one of these will have their own name. This would be draw control. So, and for units, what we'll call units is ratio. Instead of draw ratio, we'll call it ratio. That way we know that this is done. So this is how you would go in here and change the way this looks and feels and customization is really the key to making something really, really, really stand out and to be uh, effective for operations, right? Because you got an operator using this or something, right? So you have, plus you want it to look good. You want to take pride in what you do and make, you want it to look really, really good. So we're gonna come back here, go back, and now this should say ratio, and this is axis three draw control. So if I wanted to change axis three draw control, I want you to note that right now. This is uh, running in a velocity axis of uh, 24 right so if I change that to 1.6 now that's going to be 32 okay so now if I change it to this to 1.6 it's going to change the draw ratio to 32 so you can see 1 to 32 now we'll change this one to like 2.0 and then that changes and that goes to 40 so we started out this is like tension controls right tension controls like we're, we're threading a web or we have a web control or we want to keep tension on an actual product so this is an actual you know process that we built out and then we shown on that 30-day YouTube challenge right and we can actually stop these as well um, and show these in a stop state so it stopped they'll stop but we also show how to change these speed wise as they're geared together we show these how to actually change the the speed on a gear ratio based upon actually uh, doing that dynamically instead of stopping and starting right you, you can change it dynamically like we just shown 
So again, um, I just wanted to show you how to actually use a ActiveX numeric keypad, replace that with what we did before because we now we've changed from an FTView 7 to an FTView 10 on this application that we built on YouTube two years ago. And we've also changed our code. We've changed our code from a uh, version 20 to a version 32. Even though it says version uh, 31 up here, it's actually version 32, right? This is version 32. So, um, and this is on an L6. We've changed it off of an emulator and we put it actually on our processor, our controller that we're going to actually come back and do some controls on for our actual servo. I've added the, the trainer servo in here as well. So I've added a live servo along with the virtual axes that we originally did in the past. So we're gonna be adding onto this and doing different things um, in, in the coming future. So. But I did want to actually show that and show how this was done and show how this works. Also, too, we've added, um, you know, our our proper active X for everything to do our actual, um, you know, our actual. This this shows the server status and st stuff like that. So we've added all that stuff in there as well. So again, I, I just wanted to show you guys how to use a numeric keypad and show you how that works and replacing and substituting and doing everything real efficiently under 10 minutes. And again, I really do appreciate everybody's support and we'll see you guys on the next one.